Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to learn from the political science chapter one, power sharing. Okay, power sharing. So we will go to the introduction part. Okay, that is the what is power sharing. Okay, and second thing we will be discussing about why do we need power sharing, and third thing so we will see. What are the advantages of power sharing? Dear my students, let me say you something. Power sharing. Okay, first of all, we will discuss about the power sharing. What is power sharing? Power sharing is describing a system of governance. What is? It is describing a system of governance. And this system is, you can see that openly, it is constructed with the government versus opposition systems, in which the ruling coalitions, okay, rotate among various social groups of our times. Dear my students, you have to understand that. This power sharing, okay, power sharing is a system of political arrangements, okay, in which power is shared between different organs of the government, and power is shared between different level of government. Power is shared. Between, okay, different social groups and different political parties, etc. So this is about the power sharing. Means they are sharing the power. Hope that you have understood this one. And second thing, let us see why do we need power sharing? Okay, why do we need Power sharing, dear my students, remember that this power sharing is okay. This power sharing is helping us to reduce the possibility of conflict, okay, between the social groups. That's why, okay, we need power sharing. Not only that one, even we can see that. This power sharing is ensuring the stability of political order. As the social conflict often leads, okay, to violence and political instability. And third thing we can see that this power sharing is needed because it is the very spirit of democracy okay very spirit of democracy what is mean by the very spirit of democracy because it is one of the fundamental principles okay it is one of the fundamental principles on which the concept of democratic rule is based okay on which the concept of democracy rule is based means in a democracy you can see that the people have a right to be consulted on how they should be governed and also you can see that all the citizens tend to have the same political and legal rights that is why this is the very spirit of democracy hope that you have understood this one and next thing we will see that what are the advantages of power sharing okay what are the advantages of power sharing dear my students there are some of the advantages of this power sharing among that one some of the things i will say you 
listen it you can see the advantage of power sharing in advantage of power sharing no single community can take the decision okay unitarily okay or unitary lally it means you can see that dear my student if something is done okay by not only a single person or not only a single group without the arrangement of others okay the decision cannot be taken and second things we can see that it is realized that unity of our country okay unity of our country is only the possible okay by respecting feeling and interest of different communities that's why it is also one of the advantage of sharing the power not only that one even we can see that dear my students as i have said you this power sharing is reducing the conflict between different social groups not only that one even we can see also the stability of political order is also achieved because of this power sharing and not only that one dear my students you can see also the better outcome if the power sharing is in the country dear my students now as i have said you about what is power sharing why do we need the power sharing and what are the advantages of the power sharing hope that it is clear to you and if you are having any doubt you can message me and it will be clarified and this is all about the introductory introductory part of the power sharing thank you students